Welcome back to Switched to Linux. So this is just a brief overview uh, real quickly about what is a distro or a distribution of Linux. So Linux itself refers to the Linux kernel, which is the under you know, underwriting fundamental how the system works. It has all the base drivers, how everything's interacting with the system. But the distro itself is a combination of the kernel, so which version of the kernel is being used. Some cutting edge distros may use the absolute latest kernels. Some of them intentionally want to use an older kernel, particularly if you're trying to have a distro used to support much older hardware. You might want to do an, an older kernel. Some of the latest and greatest stuff is going to use the latest uh, to support the more modern hardware. And some of it can be in between, and some distros will actually allow you to pick which kernel you want to use. And then you have a desktop environment on top of it. Now, not all distros have a desktop environment. Uh, I run some servers, for example, and you can get an Ubuntu server, which is one of the servers I run on some of my systems, where the... Uh, the distro does not have a desktop environment, meaning that every little bit of thing that you do in the system is done through the terminal interface. And so you have that, but most of your distros that we're talking about on this site here, which are designed to help you switch to Linux as a main computer operating system, will have some type of desktop environment. So you have your GNOME environment and KDE and your Cinnamon and your Unity there, and, and, and Mate. So there's all these desktop environments and you can pick from those. And really it's the desktop environment that you see on the computer that really defines a lot of your layout. But the underlying code beneath the distro, you, know, you can have an Ubuntu based distro where it's based on one of the versions of Ubuntu and you can have a Debian based. So, you know, the, there's some fundamental differences in which package managers are used and which file systems you're using, whether you're using like a Dolphin or a Nautilus file structure. So there's a lot of different factors involved in the distro outside of just the overall look. But ultimately, it's what is the kernel that's being used? What is the desktop environment being used? And thirdly, what is the software that is being used? So some of your distros are absolutely lightweight and have almost no software installed right out of the box, which is nice and handy as you're replacing a desktop operating system where you want to custom install all the software you want to use. Now, does that mean you're using OpenOffice or LibreOffice? Most of the distros that are coming with Office installed come with the, the LibreOffice installed because it's the, the most robust and, and, and growing uh, Office platform in, in the Linux uh, community. Um, uh, there are other distros, however, like, for example, Ubuntu Studio, which is specifically designed for, as they say on their tagline, Linux for creative humans. And this is a distro that is designed to install a lot of your different, uh, a lot of your different uh, software and packages based upon productivity. So you can actually go into Ubuntu Studio when you're installing it, and you can go in and choose which packages you want to install. Like, do you want to do a audio creativity? Do you want to do video creativity or graphic vector V8 uh, creativity? Or all of them or none of them. And you can just, based on the options, it will install a whole suite of different software packages for the creative people. Th this way, it, it all works nicely out of the box so that if you're doing an audio, you have your Audacity and numerous other things that I don't do much audio editing, so I can't recall. But uh, you'll have Caden Live and, and OpenShot and you know, and, and uh, other similar ones, uh, maybe Lightworks, so they don't remember if Lightworks is on there for, for the video production. And if you're doing graphic, you'll have GIMP, you'll have Blender, you'll have uh, Inkscape, you know, and, and, and a basic paint program. So the different distros will have the various software packages that are, that are referenced, and you'll have... Uh, you'll have a different desktop environment, and many of your distros, like Linux Mint, will come in several different desktop environments. So the the Linux Mint is you know the Linux Mint is the core system, and then you can get that with Cinnamon, with uh, KDE. Uh, I want to say you can get it, do it with Mate. I'm not sure if there's a GNOME version or not. I I, I just can't remember. Uh, but you can basically look at the the distro you want, and then you can look at which desktop environments are 
are available for it. And then you can get everything customized and ready to go. So that's the power of the Linux distro is you first start by determining, you know, and you might determine this based on the philosophy. If you want a philosophy that's, I'm replacing Windows, I'm new at computers, I don't want to take the time and mess with things, I just want the thing to work out of the box, you probably want Linux Mint. But if you want to be like software for freedom and working with that general philosophy, you might be more happy on, on like an OpenSUSE or a Fedora platform uh, where they're a little bit harder to get set up, especially if you're into multimedia and things like that. But uh, they have the, the philosophies that might match. So your distros could almost in a way be looked at as the level of philosophy, but it's basically made up of the, the core, the, the kernel, the desktop environment, and the software packages that come pre-installed. So browse the list of the, the distro overviews here, and uh, there'll be other places where we'll dig even deeper, but these videos here are just the, the basic overviews. So this has been Tom, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.